What up guys, it's Cautious here, and for today's video, if you haven't heard yet, there was a release of a free-to-play game from High Risk Studio and now available off Steam named Paladins. Over the first two weeks of the official release, people and gamers alike have been claiming the game as a copy or clone of Overwatch. If you haven't played or heard the game of Paladins, for starters, it's a free-to-play first-person shooter from High Risk Studios, and there are about 17 champions to play with each with their own unique armor that can be purchased with real money or in-game currency. But what differs the game from Overwatch, and I experienced this myself, is that you have to start with only 8 champions instead of like where Overwatch or even Dota 2, you can play with any character up front and see which character you're good at the most. If you want to unlock another champion in Paladins, the requirement is to level up 10 times. And by the way, I'm on a level 7 and I bought Barrack with in-game currency. And I also unlocked some achievements along the way, and I at least boost my steam level up too. Second is the card system and the loot boxes in the game, which allow players to increase the range of weapons, give health to champions, or speed cooldown on ability. You can get cards by opening a chest after leveling up your profile, or by crafting them with gold and crystals. There is also a special burn card for completing objectives, but those are for higher level guys. Overall, Paladins just needs some more unique characters if it's going to survive years to come of the PC gaming community. And it's also coming for um, consoles, so you can look on that. But it's best recommended for gamers who can't afford Overwatch. But even though Overwatch costs $60, the gameplay is badass and it got a ton of good reviews ever since release. And that's going to be the end of our video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace.